please check out our shirt on Teespring. Hey folks, I'm in um, downtown Marysville, Southern California. This is one of the old um, gold rush towns. I think this, this town was named after um, one of the survivors of the bar parties. And this is one of the oldest section of the buildings right here. Right there is the Silver Dollar Saloon and the Chinese Temple next to it. The Silver Diamond uh, Saloon is one of the oldest buildings in Marysville. Uh, I'll get more of the year. I'll get more talk about when I about it when I get over there. But this yeah, this is one of the oldest. This theater was built in 1941. We mentioned all of the movies is played here. I don't know what year it closed, but I'll put an intro about it before um, we go on, begin the movie of this uh, film. I hope I don't get killed though. Kind of sad, these places, I remember, remember the guild days, these old fashioned buildings. Release, there's some pictures inside. Kind of sad. Great business of turning to. And he's kind of sad. I miss these old fashioned theaters. There are not too many of them around these days. The only time you go to these kind of theaters, you gotta go like, you know, up north or, you know, when they're still running business. But it's still the architect inside of it. Old fashioned style. I don't know why it's kind of simple as that, but. But the main reason over here, so a dollar place behind it. A little dark history of Soul Killer, the city, one of the last victims. But we'll get more of that. Alright, please enjoy the video and tell me what you think. Like and subscribe. And we'll go on, see what happens. As you walk around downtown uh, Marysville, there's good like buildings, you know, created by the Chinese back in the time. And there's a little park on the side over there. Not too far from the temple. This one, this section right here at Marysville is one of the most oldest part of the city. And it, you know, back in the day, you know, I mean, the gold rush and there's a river, so maybe they send the gold down the river. Back in back in the day, it was easier to travel by river than um than traveling by land. Some good old fashioned. If you don't know any more about East History in Marysville, uh, please put in the comments. Like and subscribe. Some furniture for sale. So I'm walking a little bit ways, but I just want to get the guys. These are like levees right here. This area has had been flooding. We're kind of some areas in Marysville and Yuba City is below sea level. Big old levees right here. Well, we'll climb over there. Later on. Please your order, please. Way outside. Some old. Well, I'll put more of the intro about the history of Mount Marysville. It had a good, interesting history to it. Now these are real estates and piece of joint now. Who knows? He'd be a building right there. Who knows? What this place looked like back in the day, man. Oh, go back to Dam. There's a man working. There's a man cooking. I mean, I don't know. I get things to mix up usually. Run Plaza. Okay, not Pizza Plaza. No trespassing. No other year or anything on some damage. Chinese American Museum. I'm gonna get to check this place out when it's open. From noon. First Saturday each month. I'm gonna check over the architect. At first, he's locked. 
So it's kind of cool. Hours on the first Saturday. So I had to come here on the first Saturday. But um, I'm not sure the COVID thing. It's kind of cool. Some old buildings. This guy's been here for a while. But I'll put more in, in, put about the intro of the place. It's got a nice little history around this little area section of Marysville. Well, I like that mural. Yeah, I guess that building was built in 1937. We're gonna check this little mural out. Rich history. You'd be amazed what kind of history the Chinese did in America. Attending wars when a bunch of, um, near a China camp, a bunch of um, white people taunted a bunch of Chinese to fight each other. Attending war, like only like three people, there were two of them. I think like three people fought. And I, most of it caused by these uh, Americans, like uh, taunting them. My base is a bigger mama. Right. I mean, everybody's here, everybody's different cultures. I mean, how boring the world would be, everybody's the same. I don't understand bigotry at all. Or racist. Or... But it's cool, like, look up mirror. Big. Entrance right here. Address. But look, look, just want to take a look at that. That pretty or what? I got a little tech. There's been some band lights. Some great work been band lights over the years, too. So this is where the temple is. So a little ways down that way is Highway 70. Here's a little bit of history. The location of our storage site. Davis Hotel, Broom House, and a um, Burley United of the late 1960, uh, owned by the operated by Ann Davis. But also the year, a great lady of the community and Congress donor to those to need. Donated in 1907 by the Sutter property, of, but also the year. So yeah, I guess it used to be a hotel here. Room house, I want to call it. Men working. Big little area, maybe this used to be the whole hotel. But still, I mean, the artwork, some of the little details back in the day that people did. You don't see anymore. I guess it's a cabinet club now. Or, Here's like a historic uh, moment at Macy's, the first general military store. It's been from 1950 to 1952 by Charles and Ron Macy's. Located 200 feet due to west at this moment. Claire in 1912 uh, by the Center of Publer in 26. It's sons of the Going West and the Friends of California. So I guess west, 200 feet west. Should be uh, somewhere around before the before they build that bridge. My guess. I got another car. So um, they said I could film inside the saloon, so I got to look at a little bit of history about it, and talk about it. Have a little breakfast. 
So I guess the Beckworth uh, River Park little ways. I guess guys created this. Uh, he claimed he told a darn part about there his uh, Beckworth path that trapped him, and they're in the um, the big the worst snowstorm storm they ever had for years. Uh, and here's this. Had like a little river rock. Any anyway, history was born in slavery. Traveler, fur hunter, he was mixed race. Um, a little story about it, but they were confused when he was born. They say he was born in 18, 17 something, and it, but other stories say he was born in 18 something. But he's got a mad mis my mystery. But I guess they uh, built a uh, park a little ways down here. I'll check it out some other time. Uh, we have a little darn history right there. I guess he told them, like, hey, I know a better path. But the area right now is like I-80, towards like tricky area, and you know they're Donna. They renamed the lake right there, Donna Lake. To look at the history about it, if you know a lot more about the Donna Party story.